So, Rupert, the uh, Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix DVD is coming out. Any of your, what are your favorite bonus features? Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I've, I've seen quite a bit of it, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Some really good little stuff on it, yeah. Like, um, you can go on a tour with um, Tonks. Yeah, yeah. Which is really quite funny, actually. Um, she takes you around the whole studio and mm-hmm. you get to see uh, some of the dressing rooms and, like, all the sets. And, yeah, it's quite cool, yeah. What's, uh, what's your favourite scene from the movie itself? The one that made it into theatres? Yeah. Um, I don't know. There was quite a few, really. Um, I liked all the Dumbledore's Army stuff. That was really good fun. Cause, the training? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, got to do a, I got to do a few stunts in there. Yeah. Um, so that was quite good. And it was nice just to have, like, for, for, uh, in my case, Ron, got to be a bit more sort of brave and mm-hmm. actually got to do a bit of the fighting, yeah. which is uh, usually he's just sort of... Just a bit scared all the time, so it's, it was nice to do that. Well, speaking of extra things that Ron gets to do, it's in the sixth movie that we really see Ron playing Quidditch. Mm. Can you give us some secrets from, you know, movie six and whether or not Quidditch is going to be back? Yeah, he's, he's going to be back, and I'm really looking forward to it because I've always sort of missed out on the uh, the old uh, yeah. Quidditch um, experience. So, um, I don't know. Um, apparently, they've got... Um, it's just definitely going to be in, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Now, um, it was during the script writing and the review for the fifth movie that um, J.K. Rowling wrote down the notes and and, and had revealed that Dumbledore was gay. And, of course, it's now making headlines. Now, what was your first reaction to to hearing about that? Yeah, at first I was quite shocked. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know, the more you think about it, the more it sort of (laughs) makes a little bit more sense. (laughs) So, um, yeah, I'm quite, yeah, so it's, it's quite funny. It's quite a nice little touch, I suppose. Now, are you going to sort of... Do you own the DVDs? Do you keep them yourself? Do you watch them with your friends? Do you... What do you... How do you approach that whole library? Yeah, I've got... Yeah, every year we sort of um, get get a copy and um, I don't ever sit down and <laughs> watch them. <laughs> but um, occasionally I sort of do on TV and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll watch them for a bit. Um, it, it's really weird, especially at the first mm-hmm. sort of three. Mm-hmm. Looking back at them, it's really weird because it sort of, sort of um, makes you think how long we've been doing this, really. Yeah. Because I was just like... It's amazing. Maybe, like, yeah. So it's... No, it's, it's really weird. Now, you're going into production now for the sixth movie, and obviously we're here on the set of of the Harry Potter series. Mm. It's funnier, the sixth movie. There's some comedy bits, and mm. there's some romance. Your character in particular, there's a lot of hookup and making out going on. <laughs> How are you approaching that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know, yeah, Ron, Ron gets a girlfriend in this one. That's right, Lavender Brown. Yeah, yeah. Lavender, and... Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. Good actually. Um, I've met the girl who plays Lavender, Jessie. Yeah. Um, she's really cool, and yeah. um, it's going to be really, really good. Yeah. So. Is it? Are you nervous? Is it something yeah, you've ever done gonna, before? Yeah. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be awkward, I think, because um, I don't know. Because I did, I did a, a little kiss in the. Um, I did another film called Driving Lessons, mm-hmm. and there was a little kiss in that, and yeah. uh, it's, it's, it is quite uh, nerve wracking because sort of got everyone sort of watching yeah. and. It feels quite, quite uncomfortable, but I think uh, once you get <laughs> get through a few yeah. takes, it'll, you you become a little bit more comfortable. So, were you pleased with the reaction that came out of Order of the Phoenix, um, and now the DVD is coming out, and there's a new sort of frenzy around the franchise? Um, were you you know surprised? Does it still surprise you the popularity of it all? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like um, sort of. Uh, Sort of, they seem to be sort of getting better and better really mm-hmm. as they go along. And um, yeah, this one is definitely one of my favourite ones out of all of them because um, it's just really different and really dark. And yeah, it's just um, some really cool stuff in it. And uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, like the premieres and that was it was sort of like we went to a premiere in uh, uh, all around sort of America and that. And yeah. it, was, it was pretty pretty crazy. So it's it's really really good to see that sort of reaction, get everyone excited about it. So it's cool. Now you guys have pretty much grown up in the spotlight and in the entertainment world, but, you know, you're all pretty grounded and you haven't fallen off the rails. How have you avoided becoming Britney Spears? Um, I don't know, really. Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I come from quite a normal uh, uh, background, I suppose, and um, I've got quite a, a, a big family. Mm-hmm. I think that sort of helps. I've got a lot of uh, little sisters. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think... I don't know, I can't, I can't really... Yeah, I can't really understand it. I don't, yeah. think, I'll, I don't think I'll go... 